Hello everyone, Death Stimulator here, bringing you some more naval action open world. So we've uh, just jumped in as we've come across a battle in the straits between uh, Tortuga and uh, the French port. There, I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, we find a cutter being set upon by a brig. We're going to see if we can tip the balance. Indeed, I think he is running. Wonderful. Nothing uh, particularly exciting in this case. Our poor allied cutter. I hope they're going to be able to survive. In either case, though, we might be able to get some action out of this brig, though I doubt it. I think they'll probably uh, run as fast as they can. I'm going to try for some precise long-range shots here. Just a little bit short, sadly. That's alright. I think we can beat them in the wind. Unfortunately, there's nothing much I can do to help them if they aren't, but uh, still. The trick will be to keep this brig in range. If we can lay some hits on its sails, that'll do it. It is a player. Yeah, it is a player. Excellent. Every little bit is going to help. Though they do appear to be pulling away from us, even though we're going full speed. I guess the brick must have a little bit of sails. I've never really compared the snow on the brig in terms of speed. You know, they're pulling away very solidly from us. I wonder if it has something to do with uh, expelling weight. I think this uh, next volley is going to be able to reach them. Still, even if we can get close, I think that might count. Well, that's going to count. That'll give us another two minutes.
No, nah, we're not going to catch them. Well, that's annoying. Wait, he's turning. Well, all right then. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. Seems like he just ran down, uh... Nor. I swear, I just cannot pronounce this stuff right to save my life. Ah, oh, and I've got double loaded. I didn't actually switch it up to uh, chain or ball. Yeah, I'll just let him go. No point in uh, trying to keep chasing him. Waste of time. But uh, yes, at least it's another British ship that won't sink. <laughs> I am going to wait until he's gone, though. I don't want to leave and uh, have him kill the cutter. not be very sporting. Right, hopefully that'll make it clear that I'm uh, awaiting his exit. And there he goes. Oh, well. Still, a uh, little bit of excitement. Uh, yeah, got ourselves a basic repair kit out of it. And this is what I couldn't think of the other day. The biggest ship repair kits. <laughs> That's the, uh, 1200 repair. So that should repair pretty much a sinking ship. If only you could use them in-game. I actually don't know how the, uh, transference works from a battle to the real world. And there he goes. Run away, France, run away. Not that that wasn't a sound move running. I mean, we would have just sunk him. <laughs> Let's be honest, we were uh, definitely in favour in terms of uh, damage output. And with the cutter there as well, that would make things rather difficult. Wow, he's all the way down there? Huh, okay. So, uh, what have we been doing? Well, we've been sailing the straits, uh, avoiding the larger ships and uh, picking on smaller AI ships and catching out the uh, occasional ne'er-do-well. We can't enter this port, and that Constitution and Navy Brig looks like it's coming for me. Ah, yes, the AI. Just going to see if we can... Uh, leg it before we uh, get captured at this point. I do not believe we could take the Constitution and the Navy Brig together. 
and I am not game to try and find out. Instead, I'm just going to go full bore. And... Hmm. I could try to get this snow, but I have a feeling that if we enter the battle, we'll pull that... Uh, Constitution and Navy Brig into the battle with us due to the uh, fact that when you start a battle there's an area of effect essentially and anyone in that area gets pulled in. I believe our only option here oh jeez it's not so much that I'm worried about a Lynx and Lynx and two cutters it's more that if they decide to intercept me uh oh <laughs> this could be absolutely horrific come on they might just be going to port not at that angle they're not and there we go uh yes please six five i'd rather deal with these guys than i would deal with the uh ah damn well we did miss out on getting the uh the snow in it all right, uh, hmm, this fight. They have the wind on me, I'm just gonna run straight up. Um, the amount of, oh, there's, there's the trade of snow, but it's well downwind of us. Uh, the amount of issues in dealing with uh, this, this kind of uh, fleet are enormous. We could outshoot them if they didn't end up just sitting down rind and skipping out of our range and I just don't have the patience to do a full fight dealing with that at this time. So we're going to run. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. It'll only take us uh, a minute or two to get out of this, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably pause the video here and uh, catch you guys up once uh, once we're out. See you in a minute. So, after a minor diversion, we're back sailing the straits. Uh, no ships in sight at this time, but we're going to make our way back to Tortuga and see if we... Uh, if there's anything in particular we need. Any... Uh, purchases that would be worthwhile while we are trying to save up money as quickly as possible uh, with oh, that's something I can do in my own time at the moment I'm actually trying to bring you guys some fights there should be some players around here I mean we've already seen uh, one from Great Britain and one from France and I have seen others as well all a matter of luck whether you actually run into someone or not out here. Always got to have your eye on the horizon looking for sails. What do we have here? A trade of snow. We may not be able to catch it. As they aren't, as it's AI, so I don't think it'll, I think it'll be going in fast mode and not be slowed by the wind. So it's basically, it's basically at the moment running against the wind. However, uh, a brig and a snow. Hmm, they are AI, we could probably take them. There's something out there, I'm just trying to click on it. There we go, it's a privateer. Privateer for Great Britain. All right, so we'll just put ourselves downwind of the snow and attack. And this means that we should, at least in theory, 
not have too many issues catching it. Hmm, trade of snow, it'll have weapons. I'll be aiming to sink it as quickly as possible. Uh, it shouldn't be an overly interesting match, so what I'll do is I might speed it up. We'll see how it goes anyway, and I can do it in post. Switch these up, get the double shot on. Fortunately, the AI is going to stick around and fight us. Oh, and here we go, it's already taking some pot shots. So, uh, this has been a great area. You get the occasional uh, Denmarkian ship. A lot of Spanish, a lot of French, and of course the occasional Great British ship coming through. Uh, I haven't seen any of the other nations. Oh no, I have seen the US as well. Excuse me, sorry. I have seen the US as well prowling around. They were involved in a rather large-scale battle. Uh, victories and such. I just kind of looked at it and left. <laughs> That's cute. I do love the ricocheting. It just looks, uh, it does look a little bit silly, but of course, you know, it's bound to happen, really. I've always enjoyed the, uh, Kind of the romanticized naval stuff. Ever you know, since watching, you know, the old school pir Hollywood pirate films as a kid. Not been much for researching it though. So my knowledge in that field is particularly lacking. Hmm. One thing I don't like about the snow, the uh smoke does make it, uh, the smoke's in such a position that it makes it very hard to see it, where your shots are hitting. So if you make a mistake like I just did then, it's a little hard to tell where it all went wrong. And I will assume that I was too high. I mean, as we can see, like, the damage that we can put out is absolutely ridiculous. Um, a lot, uh, I like, I really like the new damage model. I feel that that's a large part of it. And it makes, uh, matches considerably faster than they were in, uh, in the Sea Trials, which is, I like that. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the odd uh, extended battle. Uh, however, I also do, in, in a situation like this where you are very much tied to the re like a real world, a kind of open, the open world in this basically, because you're tied to that, I don't really want to be sitting in... <laughs> you in one spot for 45 minutes. I want to be able to go on to kind of the next opportunity in the next fight. Yeah, the fight's good, that's fine, but uh, particularly with AI fights and often getting dragged into AI fights. Um, yeah, it's uh, a little bit annoying. Well, looks like they've popped. <clears throat> excuse me. Looks like they've popped their repair kits, and uh, should be fairly short. 
uh, remainder of the uh, remainder of this fight. We could probably seize it, but at this point, I'd just rather not. I'd rather leave things. I'd rather focus on uh, getting some experience up, getting some money. Ah, what the heck! <laughs> Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. And if we ever get back to uh, Charlestown, where I'm sending the ships now, it'll be worth a pretty penny. And I feel that's probably going to be worth uh, worth more in the long run anyway. I'm going to want money to be able to set up more ports and so on and so forth. Don't want to leave myself stuck like this uh, again. <laughs> In fact, I will probably, at some point at least, uh, off-screen, go back, figure out which of my ships is going to be fast enough to island hop, and uh, go through, sell off all the ships I've got, and just m make a chain of ports um, along the island chain. That way I can kind of spread my uh, ship businesses out through Florida, so on and so forth, all the way down. South America. It'd be good. Haven't been around Jamaica or Cuba yet, so uh, that'll also be worth a visit. Alright, we're uh, fully healed up. Let's get back on the hunt, see if we can get into a decent fight with some players. Eh, 600. Common? I did not even know there was a common repair kit. Cool. Uh, yeah, I will send you to an outpost. That'll be Charlestown. Yeah, so your crew do reset between battles, which is probably necessary in a way. I don't, you don't really want to be stuck out here um, in the open world with limited crew and going slow and all the issues that arise with that. Okay, what do we got here? Constitution, is it alone? Nope. Are we going anywhere near it? Absolutely not. How far are we off the next rank? I'm curious. 332. Interesting. As long as that constitution doesn't take an interest in us, I will be reasonably happy. So uh, it's interesting to see a lot of the ships, it, it's mixed. So the French ships tend to come through the strait, but most other ships will go around it. And to be honest, that seems to be the much safer option because it's quite easy to sit just here, outside the bay, kind of on the other side of the section, and pick off any ships that come through here. Of course, you have to have the wind with you and so on and so forth. You know, there's all sorts of little things that crop up from time to time. So this navy brig, is it putting in at the French port up here or is it actually coming through the straits? Because if it's coming through, it is coming through. Excellent. Well, we might be able to sink ourselves a navy brig. That would be most acceptable. Oh. Okay, so that is round that way, I'm pretty sure. Guadalupe, yeah, it's round the coast. Not too far from us. And while it would be great to get involved in one of the larger fights um, that comes with uh, Duran's Rakers, um, I don't think that we could uh, do very well ourselves in this little ship. be honest I don't really want to bring you guys a bunch of these boring AI fights so I'll cut the video here and I'll pick it up when we get something interesting see you shortly hello everyone death stimulator here again so after a little more adventuring uh, we've sunk a bunch of ships all in all done fairly well for ourselves uh, we've been able to purchase uh, a new slot 
and we're halfway through to having enough money to purchase um, an outpost. So with that in mind, uh, we've really essentially run out of players. We keep getting attacked by uh, AI ships. So we've had a fairly decent run, if you have a look at the history there. Uh, got chased away by Trincomalee, but um, this one in particular, a Navy Brig and a Lynx decided they wanted to pick a fight. And I was able to sink them both, as to be expected, really. Uh, I did try to uh, have a go at the Trincomalee, but there was no such luck there, unfortunately. So, uh, for the moment, I'll leave the uh, leave things how they are, and we'll uh, try and see if we can um, find some players. And hopefully, tomorrow's episode, we should bring a decent player battle rather than us just chasing somebody off. <laughs> In the meantime, it has been Death Stimulator, and if you did enjoy the video, do let us know, and please consider liking, commenting, favouriting, or subscribing, as your support means the world to us, and probably that glitched ship as well. Have a good day, and I'll see you.